A mold release system is used to prevent bonding of the manufactured component to the mold and allow easy demolding. Right now, um, with a mold, open mold or any molds, you need a, what's called a mold release system. Otherwise, the part will stick to your mold and that can be a very costly exercise. Um, there are various types of mold release systems on the market. These are three of the most, most common. As you can see, they're They've got to be stored safely. Um, I've just brought these out of the cabinet now to show you for demonstration purposes. Um, and at all times when you're dealing with any of these things, you must refer to the MSDS sheets to know how to store them, how to use them, and how to look after them. Firstly, the PVA. This is polyvinyl alcohol. Um, the beauty of this stuff is that it, that it gives a physical barrier. So basically, this will put a, put a layer on top of the mold and then your part goes on top of that layer. So basically, it will, there's, it, the mold cannot come in contact with, the, uh, the part cannot come in contact with that mold. It, um, the disadvantage of this stuff is that you don't get very good cosmetics and also you have to clean it off every time. So it's quite time, time, con, you know, time constraints are quite important on it. Now the semi-permanent, um, the beauty of this stuff is that it chemically bonds to the tool face. So again, like this gives a physical barrier, so, so does this give a physical barrier. Uh, the, the, it is actually a permanent release agent, however, it can be rubbed off with abrasion, abrasion hence the name semi-permanent. Um, the disadvantages of with, with this stuff really is at very high cost. So it's, um, in the industry, you know, you've, you've got to be pulling a lot of parts from it to enable to, to make it work. What we're dealing with here is paste wax. This, this paste wax is made from car, Carnuba, a natural wax, and we're just going to apply a section of this to show how it's done. The main reason for using paste wax across the industry is because it's, it's very cost effective and you can get a reasonable amount of pulls from it, a reasonable amount of parts from it, and also um, you've got very good cosmetics. And then what you do is you do small circles. each one overlapping each one and try and apply a nice even coat. What you try to do is about a 500 by 500 millimeter square section or thereabouts, the same area. You just work it in like so. On a new mold it's recommended that you do at least five, five um, applications of this wax to get a good release. After the, after the first release, then you might give it another one, each part, and then you can stagger your time off, and you may get three, four, five, six, seven, ten parts from it, depending on the complexity of your mould. So what we do now, we've got three wax, three rags, and we just, once it's started to go, just crack the surface off of it, then let it breathe once more and then we can start with the first rag in a circular motion taking off the wax and once that rag's pretty clean then go with the next rag again applying an even amount of pressure working it off And then finally, with the last rag, making sure it's all nice and polished and that you've removed any residue of wax. With your rags, once, once one rag's getting clogged up, your first number one rag's getting clogged up, what you do then is you put it in for wash. You, your number two rag becomes your number one rag, number three rag, two rag, and you gra grab another rag for your clean rag. With any of these products, you always um, look at the directions because they do vary quite a bit, even between the Carnauba waxes and stuff. Some, some you can wipe them off straight away, others need time and what have you, and they'll tell you on the instructions how long you have to leave it before you can reapply coats. You should, in any case, you should never do more than two coats in one day.